Recently, we sat down with Ron Feldman, and I asked him questions about Adolf Ruth, and he answered every single one of them, and what you're going to find is amazing. Let's get to it. Tex Barkley. Yeah. So what secrets did Tex Barkley take with him? Um, well, Tex, a lot of people think that he was involved in Adolf Ruth's murder. Um, and I, from everything I have been able to concur and study and know, Tex had no hand in, in the murder itself. Uh, Adolf Ruth was at his ranch the night before he went out with Ruth's two hands, uh, Keenan and Purcell, um, Purnell. Um, but he didn't have a hand in the murder itself. Uh, did Tex know where the Dutchman mine was? I believe he did. Uh, he was a, he had a hand in the conspiracy of bringing everybody, my son, I heard, talked a little bit about it, bringing everybody to the west side to hunt. Uh, he, he had a hand in all of that. But he was also a loner, and he stood quite a bit by himself, and I think he kept a lot of things to himself. And partially I tell you this because I did know Bill Barkley very well, his son. I know that you think that Tex Barkley didn't have anything to do with the murder, but, uh... You lead me to believe he may have known more than he was talking about as far as the, the two hands that took him out there. Um, well, I think Tex knew uh, who had killed them, of course, um, but he didn't have a hand in actually doing the killing or anything. A little story uh, going back to Ted Cox uh, in his manuscripts and so forth. Um, we have evidence that what happened is um, Adolf Ruth came to his ranch, Quarter Circle U, up the other side of the mountain. Uh, he might have met at First Water at one time, too. But he agreed to be packed in by the two ranch hands and, uh, the next day. And that was all anybody ever knew until they found his body and head over by Marsh uh, Valley kind of in there. The way actually part of him was found on the side of Blacktop and his skull was found in Marsh Valley out by Squaw Box. But anyway, um, Ted Cox was out on the east end of the mountain and I witnessed Adolf Ruth's body being packed by horseback to the west side by Abe Reed. You witnessed this? Ted you Cox did. Witness. did. You had been, you'd that wasn't even, even a, a glimmer you in my father's a glimmer eye. at that time. No. He witnessed it. Ted Cox witnessed this body being transferred to the west side. Mm -hmm. And that's part of what was going on back then, is they were moving everything. See, who was the power oh, back then? Okay. Who was the power that ran the territory? Who had the power out here? Government didn't have the power. Who had the power? It was the ranchers. Jack Fraser plays heavily. I don't know if you know who he is. I know the Fraser name. Jack yeah. Fraser was a he was the king out here, basically, a kingpin. He knew where the mine was. He probably cleaned the mine out. <laughs> but Jack Fraser and some others, Abe Reed and some of the others that were involved, didn't want any publicity on people searching that East End. Number one, more people would endanger their way of life. And nothing is more important to people than their way of life. Right? Right. That gives them everything, if they're lucky. Um, so he wanted, and he wanted all, so the Dutchman mine being discovered or gets out that it's on the east side would have brought people on, people on people. This was kept hidden. Everybody goes to Weaver's Needle because that's where everybody has been taught to go to. And that's why the body of Ruth spurred most Dutchman hunters to come to the west side. So they, that's why they didn't find the bodies until much later because they were moved. From, from, what, from what I know, the information tells me that Abe Reed was packing the body out. Adolf Ruth. Yes. And, okay, uh, they found the head in one place, they found the body in another. Yes. And he, did he do that on purpose? Well, I don't know that. Uh, wild animals could have wild driven off. I, I don't know. Well, it's been said that it was a wild animal hole in the skull from their teeth. It was well, a bullet. <clears throat> okay, so if he pulled the body out of there, did he have anything to do with the murder? I don't think so. I believe that it they was... They just wanted to protect that Keenan area. and Purnell were the, the, the ones that killed him. Oh, okay, you really think that? Yeah. Or they're the last to have seen him. Ron, didn't they go to trial for that? 
They, if they did, they were acquitted. Yeah, they, they were, I think they were they, acquitted, they, but I could be wrong. Yeah, they, yeah, they did it. Why would they do that? Under orders from Fraser. They worked for... Not Barkley, but Fraser. Yeah, they worked for Barkley, but in a sense, it was all, they are all together on this whole thing to keep the range to themselves. So then they believed that he might have something. Yes. That would be another reason, of course, the main reason they want him out of there and, and out of that side, because he may have something. He wants to go to the spot that they're trying to protect, so they had to do something to get him over there. Amazing. Well, with the help of Ron Feldman, we may have just solved the how, why, and when Adolf Ruth was murdered. Another one of those big mysteries of the Superstition Mountains.